A USF football player is under arrest and suspended from the team. Campus police tell us junior defensive end Ladarius Jackson is charged with sexual battery and false imprisonment after another student says he forced himself on her. Avery Cotton joins us now live from the campus of USF in Tampa. Avery, bring us up to speed on this. Well, good evening to you, Jim. Police tell us that alleged assault happened in this apartment building behind me here on campus. Now, I spoke with several students today who are glad to know police are taking this seriously and that Ladarius Jackson isn't getting special treatment simply because he's an athlete. Instead of talking about summer plans, USF campus conversations were about Ladarius Jackson. He's a defensive end for the Bulls, now charged with sexual battery. I was very shocked. Yeah, that's crazy. But it sucks because he goes to our school and represents our school. Campus police say Jackson reportedly held the student against her will and tried to sexually assault her. The accuser says it happened here inside this Holly Drive apartment building. Police tell us Jackson and the alleged victim know each other but wouldn't say how. It's just not something that uh, that occurs um, and is acceptable in society, but it is uh, it's traumatizing to the entire community when it does occur on a university campus. This is the second time in less than two months a USF football player has been arrested for a serious crime. In March, defensive back Hassan Childs was arrested after a road rage incident. Students are taking notice. For the past like couple of years, we've been having problems with like. People like with guns and different, you know, crimes. They're also relieved to see these athletes are held accountable. I'm glad they handled it well, like regardless that he was a football player, because sometimes they receive like special treatment, you know. Once the victim reported the assault, police contacted Jackson, who was catching a flight out of Tampa International Airport. Was he trying to run? No, no, not at all. Um, we contacted him via cell phone immediately uh, upon uh, getting his name. Uh, he answered the phone. We told him, don't get on the plane. He did not. He was uh, cooperative. And head football coach Charlie Strong issued a statement today saying in part that they are troubled by these allegations, but will continue to gather information and will support the judicial system. Jen? Avery Cotton, live horse in Tampa tonight. Thank you, Avery.